Hello, today we're going to look at solving problems with multiplication and division. I'm going to read through a few of the problems and show you how to solve them. So, I'm going to read the problem all through together. Seven children are at a party. They eat each three cakes. How many cakes are eaten all together? So, we need to pick out the important information. We know there's seven children. We know they eat three cake, cakes each. And we've got to find out how many cakes are eaten all together. So, my number sentence will be seven, lots of three. Because I'm finding out how many they are eaten all together. Okay, and you see I've got a bar model at the bottom here. And I'm going to split that up for my seven children. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. In each of these boxes, I'm going to have each child's three cakes. So I'm going to write the number three. You can put dots in to represent the cakes if you find it tricky counting in threes. So we're going to count in threes to find out how many cakes there are all together. So three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen. 21. So all together, there are 21 cakes. So 7 times 3, 7 multiplied by 3, is 21. Okay, let's have a look at another problem. Susan has 16 cards. She shares them equally between herself and her three friends. How many cards do they get each? Okay, so we know she's got 16 cards. We know she needs to share them equally. So sharing means divide. So we know it's a division question. So she's going to share them equally between herself and her three friends. So we're not just sharing by three. We need to include Susan as well. So we're going to share by four. So we've got 16 divided by four. Okay, that's our number sentence. So I'm going to use sharing circles for this. I'm going to use four sharing circles for the four friends. There we go. Okay, now I'm going to share equally. So they all get the same amount. So I've got 16 cards I need to share. I'm going to put the equal amounts in each sharing circle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Oh, I can see that each of my sharing circles has got four in. So I know 16 shared between four is four. They each get four cards. Right, we're going to look at one more problem. Okay. Jim bakes some biscuits. There are 12 biscuits on each tray. Jim fills 10 trays. How many biscuits are baked all together? Okay, so it's another all together, so it's another multiplication. So we know that we've got 12 biscuits and 10 trays. So 12 times 10, 12 lots of 10. I'm not going to use the bar model this time because I can count in tens, but just to help me so I don't get muddled, I'm going to use 10 sticks. I haven't got them with me, so I'm going to draw them. So I need 12 lots of 10. So I'm going to draw 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. OK, now I'm going to count in 10s. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. 110, 120. So we've got 120 biscuits. Okay. So we know 12 lots of 10 are 120. So just remember when you're looking at your word problems to read it through carefully and pick out all of your important information.